All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And before we get on to this video, I would just like to apologize for the lack of content recently. Um, I have been on holiday, and unfortunately, the internet wasn't as good as I intended, and I couldn't upload the content in time. So we are a bit behind schedule. However, we will still be starting our new um, upload schedule on Monday. And the Alpha Sapphire slash Omega Ruby will be added on Monday, not today or tomorrow. So I apologize for that. Um, just because I have just only just got back and it will take a while to edit. So let's move straight on into this video's content, which is the World of Wonders taken over. And as you can see on the picture there, we do have Shadow Mewtwo and Shadow Groudon with Giovanni. So let's start off with Shadow Groudon. So this event will be taking place on March 27th at 12 a.m. up till March 31st at 11.59 p.m. Um, Save Shadow Groudon, a new spe special research story will be available at the beginning of this event. Progress through it and receive a Super Rocket Radar. Now, if you do have more saved back, like I had two for Kyogre, hopefully you can get a good one like I did with my Kyogre because you have a spare. If not, you will have to wait until Kyogre and Groudon do appear in Shadow Raids. Now, you can claim the special research up to the end of Pokemon Go World of Wonders on June 1st at 9.59 a.m. Now, save Shadow Mewtwo. Shadow Mewtwo will be returning to Shadow Raids. This is five-star raids, and Shadow Mewtwo can be shiny. However, this is going to be insanely hard to defeat, but will be incredible for most people's accounts if you did miss the last raid day for Shadow Mewtwo. Now, this event will be going on from Saturday, March 30th till Sunday, March 31st. So it isn't going to be like a raid day, so you will not be getting any extra passage from, it, from the looks of it, which is a bit of a downside, really. Now, the following Pokemon will hatch from 12 kegs during this event as well. You've got Larvitar, Sandile, Ponyard, Rollaby, Dino, Pancham, Salandit, and Varum. And anyone with a asterisk next to their name can be found shiny. However, this list is growing, so if you did want to try and find a Ponyard, say, or things like that, it is getting harder and harder to get a shiny from it. The event bonuses from this are Team Go Rocket will appear more frequently at Pokestops and in Balloons. And you can TM Frustration away, which is in, like it's probably the best event that could go down straight after getting two new Shadow Pokemon. So you've got Kyogre and Groudon. And obviously with Mewtwo returning as well. Um, is it going on past that? Yeah. So you can do it for Mewtwo as well, which is really good. Now, the Shadow Grunts are going to have new Pokemon, um, according to this. So you will see um, from Grunt that can be shiny, Shadow Pidgey, Shadow Daramaka, Shadow Gothrita, and Shadow Solosis. The Daramaka one might be interesting as it is normally a very good fire type. Um, so a Shadow one might be really good as well. Um, I've not really looked into some of the Shadow Pokemon, so hopefully we will get more information on that. Then moving on to the Shadow Rage during this event. So the one star rage you will have Shadow Drowsy, Shadow Poliwag, which can be shiny. And then you've got Shadow Barboach and Shadow Fungus, which cannot. And then in three star rage you have Shadow Hitmontop, Shadow Wobbuffet and Shadow Sneasel, which can be shiny. Um, which is a very interesting choice of Pokemon. All Johto. Hmm. Maybe we might be getting a Johto game at some point. It just seemed very Johto and Kanto based. Um, field research tasks, you will find mystery components, charge DMs, fast DMs, and encounters with the event themed Pokemon. In the wild, you will find the following Pokemon as well. You will have Murkrow, Sableye, Purloin, Scraggy, and Inkay. And then the rare spawns for this event will be Zorua, Vullaby, and Dino. Zorua is a good one, I still haven't got shiny of that, and Dino is a very good dark type Pokemon to have to take down Mewtwo, so always good to see that happen. Doesn't say it's going to get its legacy move though, anywhere, so that is a shame. Um, then the event themed time research will be going on throughout this event. Complete the research task to earn items and encounter with event themed Pokemon. Like normal, Pokestop showcases will be available for the event themed Pokemon. Um, not only that, there is a paid time research as well. Like with every event for Niantic has um, done recently, you can buy this, and which is stupid. The amount of paid research, it's topping up to be around like £800 plus for the year, which is 
too much for a free-to-play game. You do not need to get this. You can get your six mystery components really easily. Super incubator, not worth it. One rocket radar, not worth it. And then encounter with pawn yard, just basically when you do your team leaders, get 12k egg hatchet, and hope that you get a pawn yard. This is not worth $2, and I would definitely not be buying that. Same thing here, $9.99 to get seven rocket radars and seven premium battle passes, seven ultra balls and seven pinup berries. Not worth it, skip. Same thing here, 300 coins for one incubator, one rocket radar, and one premium battle pass. Another skip. Um, keep your 300 coins for remote raid passes if you are going to spend the coins on that. Or bag space and uh, item storage. And then this new pose is pretty cool. Depends how much it is in the store, but if you are into getting your avatar poses, things like that, this is a pretty cool one. So overall, this event is going to be really good. Obviously, with having Shadow Mewtwo back and Shadow Groudon, Shadow Groudon is going to be my main focus. I do have a few spare um, researches lying around, so I will be able to get two. But it also means that if we are following this train, we should get Shadow Rayquaza next, which I might actually keep my special researches for. Um, let's see how many I've got actually on my account. <clears throat> so we have... One, two, I've got two left. So if I get this one to be, I can use one extra one. So I have two Groudon, two Kyogres, and then two Rayquazas, which I'm definitely going to do because Rayquaza, I think, is going to be so powerful, it might actually take his Mega off the top spot. That's how powerful this Pokemon could be. So let me know in the comments what you think of this event. Um, like I said, I do apologize for the lack of content. I did try and upload as much as I can, so I did short some days. I tried. I did a video which took like 20 hours to upload. It was stupid. Um, so, like I said, sorry about that. And we should be back to our normal schedule after today um, with our Kyogre Raid Day content tomorrow. So definitely keep in touch on the channel by subscribing and liking the video, and I'll speak to you all in the next one.